Okay, boys and girls, here's the SPAD um, setup video, okay? This is the LED, this is the resistor, and now I'm using this 16-volt um, power supply. But I need to get about 25 volts. So, <clears throat> again, what I've done is I've taken the positive from the power supply, hooked it up to the negative of the 9-volt battery, and then brought that in to be the positive. So I have this number plus 9 volts. That'll be the number that comes up. Uh, reverse bias in the LED. Okay, now I'm going to show you very... I mean, I really should do this on a, by record, doing a desktop recording, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to show you how to do it now. We'll open up the USB oscilloscope, this lad here, and we'll, we'll get everything going on that. So just wait for a second. We're selecting our device. That's good. Now look, this is important. We're going to do settings. We're going to do device manager and you'd like to have a high resolution scope so do this configuration you have six two channels and 16k on the scope and so lower the resolution of the wave generator and increase the resolution on the scope okay that should do it and then we're going to go to scope we'll begin the whole thing here and then we're going to look at channel one oh now let me see which one is channel one uh We'll just take, let's look at the output of the, every time that we discuss this, every time there's an avalanche of, ele of electrons through the LED, they go through this resistor, causing a little bit of a voltage jump across the resistor. So that's hopefully what we're going to pick up here. Now, <clears throat> I'm also just going to, um, it's okay, good, let's just do that. So as I as I turn up the voltage here, I don't know if you can see that. This is three. So now like it's at it's at ten volts now, nine volts now. So that's eighteen volts across the spad. So let's see. There, see she started. That's the voltage across the spad, and it amounts to around about twenty one volts. So we reverse bias this guy. Uh, when you're doing this experiment, of course, yourself, you're going to forward bias the spad. I'll turn off the slate for a second. Yeah, it's better. You would forward bias it and you'll see the normal operat operations of an LED. Now, uh, let's see if we can get uh, the comparator to work. So this, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop looking at the output here and I'm going to show you this is a comparator. You can read about it in the in the right hub. 